Welcome to Navigating Your Future. We are so glad you're here. You know, they say that it takes a village. George says it takes a nation. And I think it's true. Everybody here is so important in this, in this process that we're in. Every one of us here is part of something much greater that belongs to all of us. Every one of us is part of the birth of the vision of aging that is new and different and alive and well, and part of the birth of Age Nation, a movement whose time has come. So welcome to Navigating Your Future. So you could say, I'm looking stage left. Everybody comes in stage left. That's, you know, it used to be called a stage of life. Remember that? All the world is a stage and we are but the players on it. And so everybody comes in stage life, every, left, everybody's going to go out stage right. The soul coming in, there's two big theories about the soul. One is called tabula rasa. I'm a recovering Catholic and I was taught as a kid that the soul was a blank slate and the Latin was tabula rasa, blank table, blank slate. And that, that's become the modern idea also. The modern world thinks that the human soul is empty and a person is made by a, a the, the experiences that they have. The, it's called social determinism. How your family treats you, how your neighborhood treats you, determines who you are. But the old idea was the soul was not blank. The soul was imbued with something called the dream of life. So each person was really a body wrapped around a soul that was carrying a dream that brought them to life. And the whole purpose of living was to unfold that inner dream. And that dream was also at times called the inner genius. That is to say, everyone comes into the world embedded and imbued with some qualities of genius that are in fact what's needed in the world. That's another old idea. People come to life when they have something to give that is needed by the world. So you could say, well, bad luck on us. We came at a time when the whole thing's going upside down. You can turn it back and say, we came at a time when we have something to give if we could only find our genius and learn how to follow it because it's the genius that's tied to the star that's trying to pull us along. Um, remember the old saying, the first problem is you can't find your genius. The second problem is that you have found it. What, you know what I'm saying? You can kind of get by until you find out what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, again, it's a problem in America because they had that uh, idea promulgated that you can be anybody you want to be. The idea is to be who you're supposed to be. And what that means is, you can clap for that. So I ask myself, what is it about when everything is going well that I wasn't feeling happy about it, uh -huh. that I felt a depression and I couldn't find a reason for it. So uh, I had friends at Lama Foundation and I asked them if I could come up for a retreat and I took a 40-day retreat there in which I began to realize that uh, basically I expected my body to perform at 60 what it was doing at 40 oh. and before. And my body was sending me messages, and the basic message was, don't do what you're doing. And that showed itself as depression, that I didn't feel the same uh, energy and the same uh, drive that I had before. So then the question came, who could be a model for me? Because uh, my teachers didn't show me what it was like when they got to be older. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, they all pretend that they can sit in the saddle until they drop. And um, that wasn't a good model for me at all, because it didn't take advantage of the gift that God gave me with the extended lifespan. So mm -hmm. the question was how to use that and in which way to help other people when they're getting there. And this was the way in which that book originally formed itself in my mind and I had a wonderful co-writer to write this book with me. The skating aging is use you think of yourself at the moment in the moment I am I am here and I'm in a stroking body
that's 80 years old. But I am here in the moment, in the moment. And this moment is rich, it's absolutely rich. All the stroke did was start a new cycle for me. Do you know that um, a very great elder just passed away? Are you aware of that? Neil Armstrong just passed away. And the first man on the moon. In 1972, I believe it was, I was asked to help some astronauts remember what they saw on the moon. Because there they were encased in these big, you know, suits saying, A-OK -okay, Houston, not this one, the, the other one. And there were just subtle things that were lost. And so they said, can you help remember? So I had Ed Mitchell as my you know, uh, partner in this. And I tried all kinds of things. I put them in trance, you know, I taught them active imagination, I hypnotized them, I yelled at them. That's what worked, yelling at them, you know. <laughs> and finally Ed said, well, Gene, it's not that what we saw on the moon that was so important, it's what we saw coming back to Earth. Because coming back and looking through the little capsule, there she was, our beautiful blue and green planet, silver floating in the womb of the cosmos. And he said, I felt such nostalgia for what the world could be. I looked there, there were no nations, there were no divisions. It was the great luminous oneness, it was our mother herself. And I went up there an astronaut, I came back a psychonaut devoted to inner space realizing that if we did not begin to really rethink who and what we are and our enormous stewardship for this beautiful planet, we would not make it. And so he then went forward and what did he do? He created the Institute of Noetic Sciences, one of the great, great, great uh, arenas for exploring the human dimension. Worse than that, it was believed, again, a consensus of science, that after age 30, your brain began to degrade and that there was nothing that you could do about it. Who's familiar with the term neuroplasticity? You know this term, neuroplasticity. Neuro means brain cell. Plasticity, what does that mean? Changeable, adaptable flexible. It's the idea that your brain can change and grow as you get older. And it is the new consensus of neuroscience. Your brain is actually designed to improve with use. They had to make up this new word, neuroplasticity, to describe what we discovered. You know how we discovered it? Technology. Thanks to the MRI and the brain scan, we could start to look at what happens in your brain as you actually learn something new, and we could watch it change and grow. This is true for adults, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, even in their 90s. Your brain can change and grow when you exercise it. They've made up another new word. Have you heard this one? Neurogenesis. Do you know that word? Neurogenesis. It's a really important word for us all to know. Neuro, brain cell. Genesis means what? The beginning, birth. You can grow new brain cells as you get older. Governments worldwide are being starved of revenues by cheater economics, by fraud, deception economics, casino economics, and some of the components of these are the famous tax havens and so forth. Well, the corruption is undermining governance because if you're trying to lobby a legislator and all they're doing is being on the take, they really are not interested in facts. So what are you going to do in a fact-free situation? This is a challenge. I want to come back to that, but I put it in your mind. Don't overdo the medication. Work as much as possible with doctors who work in a more natural way because that's working with your body's chemistry. Hey, our bodies know how to heal themselves. You know, when when we're eating sugar because we want a sugar high 
or drinking alcohol because it chills us out. The truth is it's just stimulating our own neurotransmitters. We can do that ourselves. We can do it by how we think, by imagery, and also by supplements that we take. Laughter is very, very powerful in that regard because it keeps us young, it keeps us flexible. Now, um, I have a spiritual path, I call it fundamentalism, with the accent on the fun. Not to be confused with fundamentalism, accent on the mental, that was totally different. See, we fundamentalists believe that life is a joke, but God is laughing with us, not at us. The creator is watching the comedy channel, we're what's on. So, if you want to live consciously and age wisely, if you want to reconnect with your dreams, if you want to touch into that place of greater understanding and wisdom within yourself, if you would like the opportunity to remember that dream, that special dream that lives inside of you, if you would like to be able to leave a legacy behind you, things of greater consequence and greater meaning, that's what this program is all about. That's why Age Nation exists. And so we welcome you to this conference, we welcome you to this opportunity, and we deeply, deeply thank you for being here.